This is uh, episode one on uh, Cop Chase's uh, podcast. Um, we're going to talk about some things. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, let my fans know that uh, I will be going out, um, but I'll be doing these podcasts uh, two, three days a week. And um, it's going on uh, three separate stations, uh, hopefully in the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, I don't want to promote it just yet until uh, all things are said and done. Um, first of all, I want to uh, touch on the 63 unarmed people that died uh, from uh, police officers just uh, since January 1st. <clears throat> the past two years, it's been 2,800, uh, one year and another 2,000. I guess it's like uh, like 4,900. You can check out killbycops.net um, to verify that. Um, and uh, they're usually uh, up on that stuff. Um, but I want to touch touch on this militarized, this new militarized uh, thing that uh, Trump's got going on um, with the police, uh, basically giving them extra grants um, and um, it's uh, very important for people to understand that when you have community policing that are acting like soldiers, not only can they can they not mentally handle it they cannot handle um, that type of power um, in a closed setting so it's almost like they have to have like this bully complex um, you know thing going on so uh, I'm on the computer here and uh, kicking around um, and uh, looking at some of these cases, um, it's like maybe three, four, five shootings a day, uh, average of two deaths a day. I mean, cops are in fact a domestic terrorist group. Um, they uh, they thrive on a thin blue line, and and if 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 you ever if you ever go online and and protest in any way, shape, or form you're gonna get a slew of haters and, and trust me I have a hate group devoted to coming after me including violating all kinds of rights even breaking the law um, in a manner which um, could cause some serious detrimental harm to your children and to you and most of them are cop supporters and it's funny most cop supporters are narcissistic nut jobs uh, we have this uh, guy named uh, Greg Gidley from uh, Hillsboro, who's a, a barber. Uh, barber there has this thin blue flag out, outside his house, um, and he went on a call flood and got pretty much every member of his family um, to uh, come after me, loved ones, uh, furiously message me on Facebook. Um, all because I filed a complaint on his wife, who's a lieutenant um, of the fire department in Daring, New Hampshire. Um, she basically lied um, to uh, dispatch, saying someone was uh, failing to remove themselves from a home when some uh, smoke alarms were going off. And they actually didn't refuse at all. They were just waking everybody up. And she just blatantly lied and said she needed police assistance to remove them from the home, which they can't do anyway. They can't physically remove anybody from the home because um, there was no danger um, just for a one little smoke alarm even after everything was cleared um, and then uh, I ha we had uh, issues with uh, the cop chases Facebook page we lost some admins because um, police won or, or the fraternal order of the thin blue line they call it blue lives matter ended up uh, call flooding and message flooding all the admins and, and the flooding the whole page with uh, um, frivolous reports. Um, we were working with Facebook with that and the Facebook uh, team determined that um, it was in fact in response to harassment and most of those people were banned themselves. Um, so we just responded um, in the best way we could. Um, and they're bullies, basically they're bullies. Their, their family, their friends, the people that support them, they're bullies. They don't realize that police are, in fact, lower than you. 
Um, you have jurisdiction over all public officials according to the Constitution, and every state's Constitution here is a little bit unique because they have the 8th article of the New Hampshire State Constitution um, that's uh, pretty, you know, pretty black and white, and I'm going to read it here, New Hampshire 8th article state constitution um the you know and and literally if you read this to a cop they will disagree with you um straight off the bat um in fact the five complaints that i've had with the eighth article quoting the eighth article of the new hampshire state constitution um, they're like, well, I don't, I, don't, I just don't agree with that. Well, they took an oath to follow every single one of these. So this is, this is the eighth article of the New Hampshire State Constitution, um, accountability of magistrates and officers, um, and the public's right to know. So all power residing originally in and being derived from the people. All the magistrates and officers of government are their substitutes and agents, and at all times accountable to them. Government, therefore, should be open, accessible, accountable, and responsive. To that end, the public's right to access to governmental proceedings and records shall not be unreasonably restricted. And I want to focus on all power and it outlines all power residing originally in and being derived from the people, all magistrates and officers. All magistrates and officers um, under constitutional law are basically all sworn officers that sworn to, to uphold any type of uh, constitution that allows them to have an appointed position in that particular state, office, local, state government. Um, basically we are in fact their jurisdiction now this issue with this detective Brown <clears throat> and I'll touch on a bigger story later on um, that I uh, filed a complaint on that initially got me arrested for filing the complaint um, and uh, legal action to be taken um, civilly uh, shortly thereafter um, I heard a video audio of him pretty much stating that oh we're trained against these people and you know his false sense of some authority he thought he had over me. Well, Detective Brown, I think you should read the the eighth article of the New Hampshire State Constitution because it says all powers residing originally in and being derived from the people and magistrates and officers in government are their substitutes and agents. So in fact, by law and written black and white law, Aaron Brown, I am your boss. So I am an authority over you, including every other uh, citizen of New Hampshire. Um, the second thing I want to touch on uh, today, I want to make these quite short so people uh, um, can uh, tune in and get up, get up on all the updates. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Ridley Report on uh, Facebook and the Ridley, Ridley Report uh, on uh, YouTube channel. Um, he recently uh, um, he called me a jerk, but in a nice way. <laughs> um, I can be a jerk against bad guys, um, but I want to reiterate some things um, that I saw in his video, um, and I want to thank you for giving me props for that. Um, and uh, we are no longer called New England Cop Chases. We're called Cop Chases. CopChases.com. Cop Chases at YouTube. Cop Chases at Facebook. Um, so uh, all you want to know, we're going national. And I want to make it a, a bigger thing so I can gain more help. Because I think other states are running into um, a lot of issues. But anyways, David Ridley um, called me a jerk. And he says, you know, I guess there's an underlining question and why I approach um, public officials the way I do and the way I talk to them. If you look at my YouTube channel, if if you talk to me, I'm going to have a really decent, you know, adult conversation. Now, when you are a cop or an official that acts like a, a damn toddler um, and a bully, I'm going to throw it right back at you and then I will verbally assassinate you 
in accordance with what free speech allows me to do, which is pretty much say anything I want. Um, and there's a reason why I do that, because it degrades them to the level where it gives them no, you know, no info for one, and no ammo to use to bolster their ego even more than it was before. Um, I don't think it's fair to say that I'm just being a jerk and a lot of people don't like me, blah, 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 blah. Well, 90% of the people that don't like me in New Hampshire never, um, never talked to me, never sat next to me, um, and never really hung up with me at all. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, they're just uh, no, no, nobodies. They sit on this computer and they basically run their mouth all day. They troll people and they got nothing else to do but, you know, smoking weed is fine. I'm a big advocate, but if that's all you do and you become a lazy, lazy jerk and you just want to just make fun of people all day, um, I think you need to reevaluate your maturity level. Um, I mean, I got full custody of my kids. I take care of my kids 24-7. They're in school um, every single day, so I'm going to take the time to uh, do one, maybe two, three, three of these daily. <clears throat> um, to try to get the ball rolling on the YouTube channel and get these podcasts going. Um, but if 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 you just plain run your mouth about somebody, about all the work they put in. I got 500 videos and I put an enormous amount of work for police accountability. Um, it's not like I go out there and have fun doing this. I don't have fun at all. I've been arrested. I've been beat up. I've been trampled by riot police. I, I got a broken nose. I've had a cracked rib. Um, I've even been jumped, um, blood all over my face. I've had three, three or four cameras broken, stolen, smashed. I've been hit in the side of the face with a field hockey stick um, and a cracked jaw uh, because of drunks and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, and, and it takes a lot of time to write all these complaints and, and make follow-ups and file Freedom of Information Act requests and, and hold these uh, um, hold these people accountable. And the reason why it takes that long is because there's so much um, red tape that protect the public officials when there really shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard for a public person to be like, you're in trouble, you work for me, I'm your boss, and you need to answer for this. Um, and uh, you know these uh, these uh, citizen review boards are good. Um, the laws that are coming out in some of the states that have a third party investigations when it comes to shootings and criminal activity they don't have that in New Hampshire. So basically, if an officer a keen police department shoots somebody, it's actually keen police that actually investigates it. So if I was if I was a cop that was on the force for 14 years. And here I am, oh yeah, I shoot somebody. And here I am, I was the best man at his wedding three weeks ago because I'd known him for 14 years. How am I supposed to investigate that without bias and impartiality? You, did, you really can't. There's no accountability there, none. And that's the problem with the, these, these public things. And you, we could go on and on and on and on. But I'll be touching on specific... Uh, specific... Um, um, stories each podcast this is a follow-up startup podcast so I'm trying to cover as much as I can in a very short short time span so uh, people understand what the heck's going on um, but uh, if uh, anybody has any questions they can email me instead of running their mouth um, and I, I would rather them come to me and believe it or not of all out of all the liberty activists in all of new hampshire the free state project libertarian community there's only one person only one that's ever come to me to ask me questions of uh somewhat uh faulty in nature um oh he's lying about this he's lying about that you know you go to the person you find out if it's the truth or not he's the only adult that took the adult road and actually came to me and I talked to him and explained to him some things. Um, he agreed, I agreed and you know, and we uh, squashed whatever was was being squashed but you know, if you just want to run your mouth you're just a bully and you're a coward. You are. If you don't talk to the person you have a problem with, 
you're a freaking coward. Um, but the ne next uh, next episode, I'll be touching on um, the police uselessness when it comes to the opiate epidemic um, and how I do not agree with the free staters um, or the libertarians that it's a victimless crime um, and why I don't think it's a victimless crime. Um, I think uh, heroin destroys families and I'm in smack dab in the middle um, and, and been affected by family members that you know have done that stuff. Um, so this is uh, JP, this is uh, podcast, Cop Chases Podcast, episode one. Um, and I'm going to uh, call it quits here and uh, send a message out to all the folks and see if this will work. Um, I'm going to be doing these on uh, Facebook. I'm going to be doing um, more live feeds and I'm going to be putting this on the YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully we'll be going out this weekend because there's a couple of DUI checkpoints in Vermont. Um, I want to try to hit that area, Rutland area. Um, and uh, see uh, if we can uh, watch these uh, police officers because they constantly need to be watched. Um, there's way too many of them um, versus how many people watch them. So I just, you, when you see them, pull out your phone, start recording them because they lie. They're trained to break the law. They will self-incriminate. They will plant stuff on you. They will lie on police reports. And they are, in fact... A domestic terrorist group that kills way more Americans than any any terrorist group that uh, that are uh, labeled by the FBI as dangerous police are the most dangerous they are a gang that wear a blue line and they literally worship their gang flag um, along with their supporters if you look at a supporter that likes cops their page their Facebook pages is riddled with canine stuff, cop stuff, blue flag stuff, all that stuff. Um, they worship them, they idolize them, um, and it's it's a very dangerous thing, very dangerous. So uh, I wish you guys all the best week and uh, enjoy the snow. If you have snow, enjoy the hot weather if you're hot, and enjoy it not if you're not. Peace.